up, we're yeah, talking yeah. on tracks. So why is man leaving his friend? Them niggas just posting car parks. I bet they won't do it again. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! Yeah! Watch you learn, Miss! I'm losing! Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland, how are you? Take the reins, Mr. Marston.
Can we stop wasting time and get on with it, please? You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself in. How can I help you? Of course, I was the man. How are you, friend? Finally, come to get that bullet out your leg. Thanks a lot. Good to see you again. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy. Hold on, truck, we're taking on tracks. So why is man leaving his friend? Them neeks just posting car parks. I bet they won't do it again. I swear. Talk about taking.